Welcome to ECA Limo, Learning Simplified, and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed how we can charge a material positively by induction and negatively by induction. And what we realized is that when you charge a material by induction, then it will acquire opposite charges like the charging rod. If you want to charge a material positively by induction, then you use a negatively charged rod. And if you want to charge a material negatively by induction, then you have to use a positively charged rod. Now in this lesson, we are going to discuss how you can charge a material using the second method, that is contact method. And what we are going to realize here, if you want to charge a material positively by contact, then you will use a positively charged rod. And if you want to charge it negatively by contact, then you will use a negatively charged rod. So here, in contact method, a material will acquire charges similar to that of the charging rod. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to explain how you can charge a material positively by contact method and negatively by contact method. So how do we charge a body positively by contact method? For you to charge a body positively by contact method, we are going to realize that we introduce a positively charged rod. You introduce a positively charged rod in contact with the body that you want to charge. This is different from induction, where if you want to charge a body uh, positively by induction method, you bring a negatively charged rod. But in contact method, if you want to charge a body positively by contact method, you are going to introduce a positively charged rod. But before we proceed with this, it's important to note that in contact method, there's no other thing. There's no other thing, just like we did in uh, induction method where we were adding or touching with a thing on the far end where or from the charging rod. In this case, there's no a thing. Another important thing you should note here is that the two bodies must be in contact, must be in contact with each other. Remember, in induction method, the two bodies were not allowed to be in contact. Now, how can we charge a, a neutral body positively by contact method? For us to charge a, positively, uh, a neutral body positively by contact method, then we will suspend the body which we want to charge using a silk silk thread. Then we suspend this body uh, using a silk thread. Then this is aluminum uh, ball. So if we suspend aluminum ball using a silk thread, then this aluminum ball is a uh, neutral. Number of protons is equal to the number of uh, uh, electrons. So in this case, the second step that we'll make is that we bring a positively charged rod. Remember, we want to charge it positively, so we also bring a positively charged rod in contact with the body which we have suspended. So we will bring it in contact with the body that we have suspended. And now what will happen, remember, from the law of electrostatics, light charges will uh, uh, repel, so the positives will be repelled to the other end of the ball, and then unlike charges will attract. So in this case, the negative charges which are here will be attracted towards the end of this ball. And since this uh, body is in contact here, then this behaves like a, a uniform conductor. So all the electrons which were here will move into this uh, charging rod. So they will come inside this charging rod because this charging rod is opposite charged like the negative. So they, they will repel the positives and then they will attract the negatives into itself. Now, what will happen if you withdraw the charging rod, which has gone with the electrons, then now in step three, the protons, all the positives, will redistribute themselves inside this ball. They will redistribute themselves in the, inside this ball, and then we will remain with a positively charged body. This is a positively charged uh, body. Now, I want you to be keen on what we have done. What we have just done, we just suspend the ball that we want to charge. It's neutral, number of protons, one, two, three, number of electrons, one, two, three. 
Then now we bring a positively charged rod in contact with the body that we want to charge. They will be in contact. It means they will make a, com a, a single conductor. Then when you bring them together, the light charges positives will be repelled to the other end of the ball because light charges repel. Then the electrons which were here will be attracted into the ball or into the charging rod because this uh, rod is positively charged. Then now the remaining positives will re distribute themselves inside the ball and it will remain positively charged. So in this case, it's important to know that when you are charging a body uh, by contact method, it will acquire similar charges like the charging rod. Now, we will look at how we can charge a body negatively by contact method. Now we can charge a body by using contact method negatively. And remember what we said, if we want to charge a body positively by contact, we use a positively charged rod. So here, if we want to charge it negatively, we will use a negatively charged rod. Therefore, if you are told to describe how you can charge a body negatively by contact method, then the first step is uh, suspend, suspend a neutral, a neutral aluminium, aluminium ball using a silk thread. So here, after you have just written the first step, then you will draw a, a, a diagram to represent that. So you will have aluminium ball, which is suspended using a silk thread. Then this is aluminium, aluminium ball. And then this aluminium ball is neutral. It means the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. Then now the second step, the second step here is introduce, introduce a negatively. Remember, we want to charge it negatively, so you will introduce a negatively charged rod in contact, in contact with the aluminium, with the aluminium ball, and then wrap it on the surface, on the surface of aluminium, on the surface of the aluminium. So we will bring the, the charging rod, which is negatively, in contact with the aluminium ball, and then you rub it severally on the aluminium uh, uh, ball. So what will happen here, you can draw a diagram to represent that. So here you will draw a charging rod, which is negatively charged, in this case, we introduce a negatively charged rod. And then you have your aluminium uh, ball, which is suspended. And then what we have said, you just bring it in contact. So you bring it in contact, aluminium ball, and then suspended on this uh, silk thread. Then now what will happen here, when you bring them together, they behave like a single conductor. Remember this aluminium had positives and negatives. So like charges, that is positive charges, will be attracted into this uh, a charging rod because it's like a, a, a one conductor. So all the positives will be attracted by these more electrons in this charging rod. So the positives will come inside this charging rod like that. And then the like charges, that is the electrons, will be repelled away from these a charging rod so they will move far away from the a charging rod so in this case then you move to the third step the third step after you have done that attraction has taken place positives are moved into the ch charging rod and then negatives have been repelled remember the positives will be attracted into this charging rod because they are in contact it's just like a single conductor then in this case you withdraw we withdraw the charging rod, the charging uh, rod, and then, and then the negatives, all the negatively charged, the, the negative particles, the negative particles, all electrons, electrons will redistribute, redistribute 
within the aluminium rod the aluminium rod so if you withdraw the charging rod then the aluminium which will which were repelled to the other side now the ball will remain with only negatively charged uh, particles the negatively charged particles which were repelled to the other side will redistribute themselves inside this ball and then we will remain with a negatively charged ball negatively charged ball so for us to charge a body negatively by contact the first step you suspend the neutral body using a silk thread silk is an insulator it will not conduct directions away or into the ball and then you introduce a negatively charged rod in contact with the neutral aluminium ball and in this case the protons which are positively charged will be attracted into the charging rod since they are in contact and then the electrons will be repelled to the other side now the third step you withdraw the charging rod and then the uh, electrons will redistribute themselves inside the aluminium ball and in that case you will acquire your negatively charged aluminium ball so in this case again it's proving to us that if you want to charge a body negatively by contact then you have to introduce a negatively charged rod so charging a body by contact you will introduce a body which is charged the same charge like the one that you want to charge on that body so that marks the end of our lesson today in the next lesson we will discuss charging a body positively and negatively by separation method